Hello, Faith family. It is so good to be with you again uh, today. I uh, hope all is well with you and your family members. On behalf of the entire Faith staff, we want to just let you know how much we miss you and how much we've been praying for you uh, throughout this entire uh, pandemic and struggle that we see our societies going through. You know, as you know, the last time we were together was actually in March. So it's been about two months, three months since we've been together. And uh, we have all been walking through a territory that uh, we've never been through before. The COVID-19 virus has affected us uh, emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, and otherwise. Uh, however, as always, God has been faithful, uh, and we know that he is working in and through us during this pandemic to minister in and to our communities. Praise the Lord for all that he's been doing. I want to take a moment uh, before I share something with you to just publicly thank all of our pastors, our staff members, our deacons, and our volunteers who have been working so hard to make this work for us. They have made it happen, working to do an excellent job in helping us to navigate through these difficult times uh, that we have been going through and still making uh, available to all of us ministry to our church family in a most excellent and creative way through God's help. So thank you to all of you. As you know, we have been offering uh, with all of our efforts and all of our might many opportunities for you to continue to grow uh, as a man, a woman, a disciple of Christ. We have gone with incredible online services and teachings and prayer meetings. We've had drive-in services right here in our parking lot, prayer meetings as well. And now we're beginning what we're calling our phase-in service times. Uh, and everything that we have done, we have tried to respect the authority uh, around us and authorities around us. But we've also been listening to the direction of the Holy Spirit as well. And what he's been saying to us and the church leadership and to the body of Christ. Because our desire is first and foremost to please God, along with balancing the requests that come from the CDC. Now, as we continue to prepare for gathering together as a church family, I want to share with you our timeline for each of our campuses. These decisions have been made from prayer, from evaluation, from research, and it's been discussed over the last several weeks. And we feel this is the best approach uh, for our faith family uh, and our staff and our churches to begin to uh, prepare to come back together. Now, let me begin with our Hazleton campus. Starting on June 14th through the 28th of June, we will be moving our drive-in service from 10 a.m. to 8.45 a.m. So note that is a time change. Uh, we will also be launching a 10 a.m. in-house service, okay? And uh, you can check out the website for that information as far as qualifications of what we're asking if you are going to come in-house. Now, on July 5th, after we have a couple weeks of doing that schedule, on July 5th, we are going to continue our 10 a.m. in-house service. But we are no longer going to be offering a 10 a.m. live service outside. Instead, the FM transmitter will be transmitting outside on 98.1 FM. Uh, and we will have uh, pastors out there uh, ready to minister to you. Uh, and also we'll have a prayer tent. And so if you're not quite comfortable with coming in at 10 a.m., you can still come to the church, hear the service, and have a pastoral staff member ready to serve you. On Wednesday, June 17th, Crossover Youth Ministry will gather together 
uh, that's those who have completed 6th grade through 12th grade, they're going to have a bonfire, come back together, a fun night here uh, at the Hazleton campus. On Wednesday, June 24th, we will begin our midweek service schedule again. That means there will be uh, the young adults meeting in their room. We will have an adult service here in the sanctuary. Our youth will be meeting downstairs. And we will be offering some kind of children's ministry on that evening. We'll st we're still working through that component of it. But there are also going to be men's groups happening, women's groups happening, both online, uh, on campus, off campus. Uh, so it's really important that you are plugged in uh, to our, our website, to our Facebook, uh, to know what's happening throughout this summer. Okay, so that's what's happening on our Hazleton campus. Let me share some exciting news about our drum campus. Uh, on June 21st through July 5th, our Drums Campus is going to be having what we're calling Comeback Event Outdoor Services. Let me give you some examples. Uh, on June 21st, uh, from 1 to 2.30 p.m., we are going to have a theme outdoor service called Taste and See the Lord is Good. And this is a way that we are going to celebrate Father's Day by giving away free ice cream to our fathers uh, and also offering a lot of other festivities on that day. On June 28th at our Drums Campus, from 1 to 2.30, the theme is not giving up meeting together. This will again be an outdoor service and there's going to be what we're calling a quarantine picnic with hot dogs and chips. And again, just a time to gather together in a drive-in service and enjoy worship and enjoy being together that afternoon. On July 5th, from noon to 3 p.m., note the time change, we are going to have a massive outdoor celebration entitled Freedom. This outdoor service is going to have a guest worship leader and David DeMarco, just an incredible uh, worship leader. Uh, there's going to be vendors. There's going to be car show. There is so much happening on our Drums Campus on July 5th weekend. You're not going to want to miss it. And then on July 12th, Drums Campus will begin their regular indoor services at 10 a.m. with children's ministries and youth ministries happening. So that's our Hazleton. That's our Drums Campus. Now let me share about our Weatherly Campus. Uh, Weatherly Campus will continue to meet in their drive-in service format at 6 p.m. on Sunday nights until further notice. However, on June 14th, we will be launching our children and youth ministries once again with some special festivities that you're not going to want to miss, kids. As each campus moves forward with their plans in place, you can be assured, friends, that we will do our best to present to you a clean and safe environment for every child and every adult that comes in attendance. In closing, let me say to each one of you, I am so excited about coming back together again with you. I also want to say to you, if you choose to not gather together in house, that's okay. We want you to be comfortable. We want you to stay connected online. Let us know how things are going for you by giving us a call or sending us an email. We want you to come back as you feel God directing you to come back on all of our campuses. We are making these moves to begin to prepare for what God has for us for the fall. And so now in this summer, we are going to begin this new phase in opportunity for each of our campuses. Friends, our desire is for each of you to grow in the Lord. We're believing for the church to come back fully healthy, fully excited, ready to worship God, ready to serve God in ministry and in outreach. Friends, can I close with you in prayer before we leave? Would you join me, please? Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord, for all of my friends and family of faith that is listening to this video today. God, I pray you'll just grant them with peace, with joy, with love that can only come from you. 
Father, I pray for healing in their bodies, healing from those who have lost loved ones during this crisis. Father, I pray that you will restore the church once again and that, God, we will come back stronger than ever. Father, that we would be, Lord, on fire for you and continue to make a difference in our communities in the months to come. Lord, give us wisdom from on high and help us, Lord, to meet the needs of our communities in these last days. And Lord, we are sure to give you all honor and glory and praise. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives and in our churches and in our communities. And we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday and also in the Sundays to come. God bless you. I love you. Have a great rest of your week.